Welcome back. We were talking to Grace, asked her to do some research, which uh, will end this day. But actually, there's a few things we haven't talked to her about yet. Um, do you know anything about snakes? Doing a family tree, Gabriel? Very funny. I mean, real snakes. You know, scaly, cold-blooded. I would have thought you'd find them empathetic. Mm-hmm. I know very little about reptiles of any kind and prefer to keep it that way. I think there's a book on snakes around here somewhere, though. Okay, thanks. Yep, we already found that. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Eh, never heard of it. It must be a local custom. New Orleans love any excuse to celebrate. Now Grace is not a local, so it's not so strange that she doesn't know about this. Do you know what Cabri sans corps means? Hmm. No. Sounds French, though. Very observant. Have you ever heard of a Schattenjäger? No. Is that a voodoo word? I don't think so. It's German. Hmm. No, but it has a nice ring, doesn't it? Schattenjäger. Yeah, it kind of does, I suppose. Well... <sighs> It's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And uh, try not to dream, okay? Um, how do we do that exactly? It's not as if you have an awful lot of control over that. And it it's not. But it looks like we are dreaming again. In fact, it looks like it's the same dream again. That woman looked awfully familiar. So does this talisman, by the way. I think any dream that ends with yourself being hanged qualifies as a nightmare. A mask I wore as I approached, I was what I am not, and though the pattern was unclear, its meaning could be bought. And Grace arrives. Good morning. Don't you look swell today? Actually, swollen. Oh. So have some. There's a fresh pot on the table. That sounds like a good idea. Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a... Oh. It always does that. Never mind. Ha, Funny. Ha. Did you dream about the fire and the hang guy and that lion thing last night? Leopard, not lion. Did you get anything on Malia Getty? Well, I did get her address, but you're a little out of your league here, big fella. The Gettys own three local hospitals, just to name a few of their assets. They run in very high circles. Did you get an address? I got the address. I suppose this has nothing to do with the fact that Malia Getty is incredibly gorgeous. I should have known you wouldn't go for a rich, ugly socialite. And that address is... Hey! Far be it from me to postpone your total humiliation. It's 557 West England. That's a garden district, a state city. That's all I wanted to know. And yes, my dear, Malia Getty is the most dangerous looking diversion I've ever seen. Ouch! Oi, men. Good! We got an address for Malia Getty! There is a slight possibility that I might be interested in checking that out. But before we do so, let's um, read the paper, which we should do every day. 
Times Picayune, dated June 19, 1993. A front page article describes the most recent of the voodoo murders. Gabriel scans it but learns nothing new. The article reiterates that the voodoo aspect of the crimes is fake. Gabriel shivers. It looked real enough to him. Elsewhere, there's an article about the history of Jackson Square. Called La Plaza d'Arma, under French rule. It was used for executions, firing squads, hanging, even impalement and breaking on the wheel. Yikes! Of course, these days it's mostly a hangout for tourists, street musicians and local artists. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Chances of a dark star rising on this day. Do not trust your instinct. I feel a dark star rising, all right. Hmm. Well, uh, it's kind of interesting, I suppose. Well, remember that we got these patterns um, yesterday, but we couldn't really make any sense of them. Also remember that the poem before the start of this day said that the meaning was unclear, that the pattern was unclear, but its meaning could be bought. Which might refer to this. Now you might think that someone artistically inclined might be able to do something with this, and you might think that it would be Grace because she has painter supplies, but it's not. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. See, she's not much help. Where else would we be able to find artists? Well, that Bruno fellow apparently owns an art shop, but since we don't know where that is, or at least we can't go there, that's not much help. But that article in the newspaper just said that uh, Jackson Square is a popular hangout place for tourists and artists. So maybe we should uh, pay that a visit again. That doesn't... Oh, I meant the other icon. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. Good luck! Seems Gabriel is a hopeless optimist. Um, alright, so let's go back to Jackson Square, see if we can find an artist. Okay, well, no one here. This is new. There's a hot dog stand by the looks of it, and some kid tap dancing. A lucky dog vendor has set up business in the square. The lucky dog vendor has his nose buried in a paperback novel. Give him notice that it is not. Big surprise. One kid. Very uh, big surprise there. A small boy is tap dancing enthusiastically for a lucky dog vendor. The vendor ignores him. Well, they're not the artists we're looking for, but let's talk to them anyway. Could I get a lucky dog, please? Not now, I'm busy. An unambitious person? In the 90s? Ah, amazing. We must sell a lot of hot dogs that way. Hello, are you selling lucky dogs or not? The vendor ignores Gabriel entirely. Heh. <laughs> Great. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yep, I mind, all right. Why? Because A, I don't know anything, and B, I'm busy. Oh. He must really love that book. 
You dance pretty well for a kid. Give me some money then. I don't have any. Don't block the view, mister. You do requests? Got any money? No. Some to eat? Uh, no. There you have it. No. Too bad. I guess he wants a lucky doll, considering he's dancing in front of the vendor there. But that doesn't seem likely to happen. Too bad we can't help him. You do requests? Got any money? No. Uh. There. Interrogating the little boy wouldn't be very useful. Or can't we help him? I wonder. The lucky dog vendor seems to like books. And we have a bookstore. And a gift certificate for said bookstore. So maybe he'll be interested in that. I have this gift certificate. I'm busy. It's good for 20 bucks at St. George's Books. Finest bookstore in New Orleans. Really? I'll have to check it out sometime. You could take this gift certificate with you, if you'll give me a lucky dog. A lucky dog for a $20 gift certificate? Well, sure. Here you go. Great. That trade was kind of in his favor, wasn't it? The lucky dog is plump and juicy. Let's uh, give it to the kid. You wouldn't like a lucky dog by any chance. Would I? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mister. You got any special requests? Let me know. Can we ask him any uh, requests? You mentioned something about special requests. Yeah. You got one? The Nutcracker Suite in D minor. Why not? Can you do the Nutcracker Suite in D minor? Say what? Oh, never mind. When the Saints is a bit more reasonable, I suppose. How about when the Saints go marching in? Sure. Hey guys, Saints! You got it, kid! He just dances the same anyway, regardless of what they're playing. So, we didn't really... Uh, that was great. Thanks. No problem, mister. We didn't really gain much from uh, helping him so far, but maybe he'll help us later. Well, we'll resume our search for an artist in the next video.